Hey everybody, what's going on? Eric C here. Welcome to my channel, The Art of Noise. Today I am going to be working on my new Ibanez base. It has a little bit of issues out of the box. This thing was brand new and uh, there's a few things that need to be taken care of on it. One of them is these fret ends are really sharp, especially when it gets to the lower part of the neck over here. They are a little sharp on the top, but not as bad as they are down here. So what I want to do, what I need to do, is to straighten this neck out really bad. Now that the strings are off of this thing, you kind of see that there is a pretty big back bow in the neck, so I need to take care of that. Luckily on the Ibanez's, they have a nice little trap door. You don't have to remove the truss rack cover at all. But I'm going to be using the wrenches that it comes with because I'm not too sure if this is a 4mm or not. I tried to put my 4mm uh, tool that I used for adjusting the truss rod and it really didn't fit. So I'm going to go ahead and use what they give you. Alright, so I need to I need to change this truss rod. Get rid of this back bolt. Loosening it up, pulling it the other way, that's helping it out a lot. So I know what the string tension, which there really wasn't any string tension on here as far as, um, as far as like being in tune goes, but it was enough to change the neck a little bit and I'm getting better now, a little bit more. Pretty flat. Take my flashlight, see how much light I see through here. Stay. All right, I'm liking that. There's no rocking back and forth anymore. That's pretty much gone. So let's go ahead and check to see what these frets look like as far as being level. Frets don't really seem to be an issue. Let's check down the neck, see what it looks like. Well, they kind of run into each other pretty good, so that's all right. So I want to take care of all of these sharp ends over here. So I'm going to bring this down. Actually, I need to bring this up like this because I need to use the file that goes on the edge of the fretboard. You can hear that thing just scraping away at these frets. Oh, much better. Same thing on the other side. A 
little bit more. Almost like these are hanging off the edge a little bit. Oh, much better. That I could deal with a lot better than what they were. side feels nice and smooth going down this side still feels like it's grabbing a little bit much better. Kill these sharp edges. This is something that they should have done at the factory during quality control, setting up the guitar. You know, this is shit that they should have done already. Much, 
much better. Much better. Wow. Just a little bit. Now to clean air off. Alright, so these frets ain't too bad as far as being tarnished goes. Um, you know, now that I did a little bit of work on them, I kind of want to polish them up. Might as well since I have the strings off the guitar and everything. Or the bass. And then do a little bit of the quick polishing with the mother's uh, 
mag aluminum polish. So I'm going to go ahead and mask these things up. Hit it with the fret eraser. And polish them up.
All right, so right now what I'm looking for is to see if there's still any tooling marks on these frets. And you'll see like little scratches or something that's on the frets that won't polish out when you use the polish that you want to use to make your frets look nice and new. Looks like I got all the file marks tool marks out of the fret. Alright, so let's see what's going on here. Alright, they look alright, so I can go ahead and use the mother's neck polish on these things and polish them up really nice so they look like chrome. Alright, so kind of put some tools away, got things a little bit organized and cleaned up over here. I got Wally in a box parts that I need to send back to him with his guitar, and I got his parts on this side over here that I need to install on his guitar that I can finish them up and get them back to him still waiting for the mail to deliver a part for me and uh, yeah so one thing I want to clear up right away is that the straight edge not straight edge that I was using for this bass guitar is not the one that I use for normal guitars I got two of them one of them is for bass the other one is for just regular standard you know electric guitars so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start using the mothers I'll go over these frets and polish them up really good. Get these die, these frets to shine like a 57 Chevy's bumper. I could use the Dremel to do this, but that's going to sling shit all over the place after I just cleaned everything up. So we kind of got hit with fall pretty good. It went from 70 degree weather during the day 
now it's like 60 degrees outside and drop into basically almost freezing overnight you've had some uh, bad frost warnings wake up in the morning and there's frost all over your car windshield there's frost all over the ground yeah it's winter's coming I think winter's gonna hit us hard this year some say that uh, it's not gonna be too bad but I really think we're gonna have a normal winter now I'm getting tired of these winters where we get a little bit of snow and it melts and it goes away I kind of like to have the the old way that I grew up with where you know wake up in the morning and there's eight inches of snow on the ground I remember walking home from the bus stop when I was a kid or teenager and you're stomping in the snow shit the way it's been nowadays lucky if there is any snow on the ground Oh yeah, that's what I'm looking for. No tooling marks. Nice clean frets. And you can kind of see a difference between these two here. The ones that I've worked on and the ones that I didn't work on. These are a little on the dull side. This is a little bit more on the shinier side. And right now we're having a little bit of rain outside finally getting a, a good soaking after being dry for so long if you got like hay fever or some type of allergies it's been uh, pretty rough with the way the weather has been kind of dry and then having uh, some windy winds and call us a windy city for nothing Well, being in the suburbs, I guess, you know, can't really call us a city, but it's more of the subs. But we see a lot of the weather that Chicago sees, so. Yeah, I'm almost done here and I'll be peeling off the tape, conditioning the fretboard a little bit.
Yeah, no fuzzies uh, from this microfiber cloth. He's did a good job on working on the front ends. And I conditioned this a little bit. It is pretty dry. Alright, so I just let that soak in. See if there's any dry spots. Maybe hit it a little bit more. Don't know how long this thing's been sitting on the shelf. So, alright. One of the things that kind of pissed me off about some of these new guitars is that uh, quality isn't always there. Whoever ended up putting the bridge on this thing ended up tightening the screws up so tight that all the back screws on the plate were basically stripped and that's where most of the pressure is from pulling on the string is from the back because that's where the ball is mounted at so yeah redrill